What's happening, y'all? It's your man Earl. It is uh, Friday. Out on a little vacation in Chicago land. And we are here. Got the calendar out. I want to do my video right quick. Uh, we talked about truth, bluff. and lies yesterday and I just want to do a quick video on the bluff revisited you gotta be very careful and I just want to give you a couple points on this okay very quickly uh, don't get too prideful don't get off into your own ego don't get off into your own intelligence when you want to utilize the bluff there's a passage of scripture in the Bible, Isaiah chapter 36, uh, verse 5. And really, you can read the whole chapter of 36. But it talks about how uh, God sometimes, well, the whole chapter, I, I can't say the whole chapter, but here's a few thoughts. A few things. Number one, sometimes God allows the enemies of the people of God to, to prevail to serve his ultimate purpose all right and don't get that confused with God letting quote-unquote evil win sometimes there's a greater purpose uh, in teaching God's people a lesson versus trying to always be quote-unquote the victor God ultimately has the victory don't ever forget that but now Back to the bluff. I just want to read you something right quick. Proud men love to talk big. These are men who got huge egos, uh, have sense of accomplishment. They've done some things in the earth world. And so you, you got to be careful not to be bluffing because of your accomplishments. Remember, the bluff is a strategy. It's not something that you live by. Okay, you don't live in pride. You don't live by the bluff. The bluff is a strategy. And God here in chapter 36 talks about calling people's bluffs. Why? Because men have gotten beside themselves. And so don't get to the point where God has to call you out. Okay, because we know that proud men talk big. Big time men, they boast of what they have done, who they are degrees, money, etc. All right, and then, then they, they, they bluff or they threaten people, okay? What they're going to do, what they're not going to do. All right, so don't, uh, don't fall off into that about bluffing, okay? Because God is the ultimate vindicator, and you don't want God to take up a case against you. So be very mindful, be very careful when you start utilizing the bluff technique because you don't want to get off into your pride, get off into egoism or egotism, if you will. Okay, so this is your man Earl. It's late Friday night in Chicago land, spending a little time away from the Quad Cities. Uh, safe travel. We'll be back tomorrow. Get ready for uh, Sunday worship. God bless you. God keep you. Once again, if you want to take a look at that, you can check out Isaiah chapter 36 and just read that story. Okay. And the key verse there will be verse 36, verse 5. And in particular, it's in the Message Bible. All right. I encourage you to have multiple versions because sometimes different people use different words and that word bluff is in verse 5. All right. God bless you. God keep you. It's your man Earl Bluff Revisited, day 185, July 3rd. God bless you. God keep you. Peace.